everyone, it's Quickie Baby, and welcome back to World of Tanks, and specifically welcome back to my playing series where I play live on YouTube without the benefit of cherry-picking games. Today, I'm going to be continuing my climb up the tech tree of playing the most powerful medium tanks in the game. So without further ado, let's take a look to see what the best tier 5 medium tank in the game is. Whoa, is it any surprise? It's the Panzer 5-4 with a 60% win ratio on average and a win ratio difference of 6.51. This vehicle is possibly one of the most outrageous OP tanks that is available in the game at all. You if you have your opportunity to be able to get this tank and it's not outrageously priced, um, or even if it is and you're a, a filthy pay-to-win scrub lord who wants to give your opponents practically no chance of a fair fight, then pick this one. To all intents and purposes, it's like a tier 6 medium down at tier 5. And I got a funny feeling it also has preferential matchmaking, meaning that it never has to meet tier 7 tanks. You have the hull of a Panther, that's 85 millimeters of frontal armor that's well angled, 50 millimeters of side armor allows you to side scrape, but you do have to watch out because of the turret on this tank. The turret on this tank is basically kind of like the stock turret of a Panzer IV. It's awful, but uh, does that matter? If hopefully you can bait your opponents into shooting your hull armor, but if you see these things out on the battlefield, don't be stupid, don't uh, shoot the hull, go for that turret instead. This thing, I think it's only been sold once, as far as I can remember, uh, since the the release of the game. And it was in, I think, some kind of black market event or some kind of auction. I think it actually went for the very low price of 10 million credits. And while a lot of you might be thinking, whoa, 10 million credits, that sounds like a lot. It's actually, I think it was an insane bargain for something that is just so brokenly OP. And I truly hope that we're giving never sell this thing again because the more that they do the more games that are played in it the more that tier 5 matchmaking is ruined and we all know what kind of vehicles exist at tier 5 think about your kb 222s think about your your lefes tier 5 is a brutal tier to play for a lot of players when they're just starting out in world of tanks immediately they're fed to the dogs of um of the op tanks i got myself uh, a girl from girls and panzer here i believe that's my commander I remember when the uh, the girls and commander voice acting first came out and I just couldn't handle it. Uh, I think I muted it eventually for my first review. Here I am many years later and now I have to admit I think it's just more of a funny thing to be honest with you. Although I'll hopefully be able to over talk them and not kind of go a little bit crazy. Although we'll have to see. This, this video might as well be titled Quacky Baby Goes to War with 16-year-old uh, Japanese girls. Uh, that would be a very different kind of video. But uh, you know what I mean. I have to admit, uh, on one of these tanks, I believe that I have in my garage, I think it's the T-55A. I have a different loader. And then he's in the he's in the vehicle with all of them. And I can only imagine. He's he's just got this face of... As if his life has his life has ended and he just doesn't really want to. But yeah, I have to admit the uh, the voice can be a little bit grating. But uh, how perfect to put possibly one of the most infamous and controversial crews in a absolutely filthy tank. So as you can see, we basically could get our opponents just back off here. Um, I, I kind of want to get farming this tank. It's it's a little lame if you can't do two thousand combined oh no i've set a standard now for my video oh no oh the pressure's on i gotta really try ultra hard in this super op tank for for youtube right and man this tank's just got everything its gun has okay pen it's definitely not the highlight of the vehicle but just that dpm is just outrageous and to have the view range 365 i think wargaming actually buffed the view range on this vehicle one time I don't know why they did that. Maybe they thought, oh, this is an ultra special tank that all of our alpha players have. Do you know, I think the only way to get this tank, as far as I can remember, and I might be wrong here, was you got it for playing the alpha of World of Tanks. But as far as I'm aware, there was no alpha for uh, Europe uh, and for NA. It was only a closed beta. The alpha of the game, as far as I'm aware, was only for um, the CIS server. Of course, now that we have the lovely Ukrainian audience coming over, a lot of Ukrainians who now play on the EU server could have been alpha testers and brought across the ultra-rare Panzer 54 Alpha. I don't have the Panzer 54 Alpha. I wasn't a, an alpha player. I was a closed beta player. No opportunity as far as I'm aware to be an alpha tester. And oh dear, Panzer 4. I may have your turret, but um, it's not looking good for you now. 
So this tank, it's, the gun handling is just pretty darn good. I'm looking at its dispersion values. It's 0.8 when it's turning the turret, 0.12 when moving. And just that rate of fire is crazy. The, the damage per minute is good for tier 5. It's really good for tier 5. I wouldn't say it would be amazing for tier 6, though. You know, when you're starting to get something like a Cromwell. But remember, this vehicle... Um, this vehicle, it... It doesn't have to meet tier 7 tanks. So the worst kind of matchmaking you get is tier 6. And when you get into this kind of a matchup against 5s and 4s, it does practically feel like you're cheating. You still have to be a little bit careful. I mean, if you get hit by something like an SU-100, it doesn't really matter if you have preferential matchmaking. If you get hit by an SU-100, yeah, 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 you're going to feel it. You're going to feel it. I'm hoping that I can sneak up here and spot this T-34 in the corner, but he might be hiding behind the bushes. Hopefully I can dig him out. Oh, there we go. Unlucky, mate. Unlucky, mate. Oh, I feel like I've got to play a little bit silly for YouTube as well. Like, I can't play so sensibly, right? I can't play so sensibly. If I'm playing something, this is OP. Why don't we just do this? Yeah, okay. That's what we do. Um, that was a ram and a one-shot, effectively. Uh, I took 161 damage. That's actually a really bad trade. I took more damage playing like an idiot for YouTube there than I have done so far for this, for this game. Luckily, the armor keeps me in as the Panzer... 4 F2 ricochets off us. There's an M3 Lee in the corner that you don't want to take for granted. The M3 Lee is a, uh, a high DPM tank if it can manage to pen you. But again, is he really going to be able to go through us here? We can just move fat forwards and backwards. There's a lot of very... This this is disgusting. I'm going to have to have a shower after this. Five kills. And here's the crazy thing. This isn't even a good game for this tank. This vehicle, it's the most overpowered tank, I'd say, tier for tier in the game. I think that's, I think it's a fair assessment, really. And so the crazy thing is, is that a game where you get five kills, you know, oh, I killed a third of the enemy team. I'm so good at World of Tanks, right? Uh, well, I low roll there. It's unfortunate. And we don't get a top gun. Oh, I killed a third of the enemy team and I managed to get 2,700 combined in a tier five. That should be an amazing game, right? It's just, it's not really in this vehicle. It's not really that amazing of a game. Um... This tank has, I think, the highest experience requirements for an ace tanker. Look at that. Second class. Second class. Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, 1,523 base experience is a second class. That means that one in five players who have played this vehicle in the last week have had a better game than that. I'm sure for some of you out there, that might be an experience record. I'm not saying that in to throw shade. I'm just saying that is how extreme the experience requirements to get an ace tanker on this thing is. And it's it's a premium. So we managed to make decent profit. It would have been 72 minus like three. It would have been 69,000 credits profit. Nice for me. Not so nice for the enemy team. All right. Well, now that you know all about the Panzer 54, let's continue to get filthy. Let's see if we can crank it up. See if we can get some more in this vehicle. Man, like just outrageous when I'm looking at it. The alpha players who have uh, only 158 games have been played on the European server in this tank in the last 30 days. So it really shows you there's probably like one Ukrainian guy who is, who's an alpha tester on the CIS server who's now here. They're getting 66% win ratio average in this vehicle. It truly is staggering to think that it's a 60% average win ratio across all of the regular Panzer 5-4s, aka the non-alpha variants. Again, the preferential matchmaking at tier 5 just really uh, pulling ahead here, allowing me to get some really nice matchmaking. You do meet quite a few tier 6s in this vehicle, not too much all tier 5 matchmaking. It's one of those tiers that doesn't, that doesn't really seem to happen. So, this vehicle, 55 kilometers an hour forwards. I'm probably going to push my way towards the north, try and spot out, try and get some cross shots, try and get some farm going up there. Other opportunities for this tank on this map would be to push across the south, work my way around this kind of like rivery horn thing that kind of like comes out here. Um, and just be aggressive. As I showed you in that last game, this thing can one-shot ram tanks. Even the Panther M, uh, well, not the Panther M10, sorry, the M10 RBFM, which is a fairly heavy vehicle. We just brushed it aside. And if you do have controlled impact on your crew, like I do, on this vehicle, then you are going to be doing very well, as the tank does weigh 40 tons. All right, so hopefully we're going to slip in here and not get spotted by the T-25. We don't, because looks like they've got bad view range. Uh, the camera rating on this vehicle isn't great, but man, that view range is allowing me to see this T-6 medium at the back of the map. Is that a tier 4? 
Is that a tier 4? And this is just cheating, they just can't see me. They can't see me, that lagger might be able to see me in a second. But let's see if this T6 medium manages to escape. Looks like he does, but I think I hit him there. Okay, big tip. Uh, make sure you knock down the, the bushes like this. Hold on, I'm just gonna see if I can shoot this. Oh, these puppies! I shouldn't play tier 5. Um, if you knock down the trees like this, you create yourself a bush location here, and then you can use this bush location to farm all of the vehicles in there. That's not something that you can only do at low tier, that's something you can definitely do at high tier, and this is one of my preferred locations to take my medium tanks. Alright, I, I kind of feel like I've got myself into a non-progressive position here. What do you mean a non-progressive position, Mr. QB? You're talking about someone who has political views now in 2024? No! What I mean is, um that I'm not able to progress the situation. I can't push, really, without uh, maybe possibly overexposing myself, and I don't want to get caught. I'm trying to look for this T1 Heavy and this T6 Medium. I could push forwards here and go after that T25, but realistically, there's most likely some tanks up there. But I don't know. So this is where I start to get a little bit too cheeky. Just because I'm playing an OP tank doesn't mean that I can play like an idiot, you know? Um, wow, does that Largo really have that bad view range? The T1 Heavy coming after me? What do you think you're doing, lad? Largo's coming from my side. Largo's going for the garage. Oh, I can't throw shade at these pups. I can't throw shade at these pups. What's this guy doing? That's not very nice of you, is it? Are we going to trade, are we? This isn't welcome. This isn't welcome. Oh, he's nearly got me. I don't want to trade one for one. That's a tier 5 premium tank with 800 hit points. Oh man, I nearly got a missed shot there. I'm getting my butt whooped. Hopefully I can damage his gun and he'll miss some shells. Oh, this isn't good trades. This is not good trades. Oh, lucky for me, he managed to take a shot. I got shot by a Matilda in the side. He took a little bit more. Hopefully my team continue to pressure him. Look at this! The, um, the Panzer T25. It's a tier 5 premium version of the Czechoslovakian medium that's at tier 6, but just doesn't have the autoloader. I'm going to give a big thank you to my T34 there, as they actually managed to get me out of a lot of trouble, which I'm happy about. Let's have a little bit of a poke back, see if that T1 Heavy's still looking at me. He is. I don't think he'll be able to see me. Let's see if he does. Does he see me? He does see me. He's actually got not bad view range on that vehicle. Maybe I die now for it. <gasps> I'm actually down to 100 hit points. Big misplay, big lazy misplay there by me. I should have fallen back behind the bushes. Okay, I'm going to wait till I'm no longer spotted. And then what I can do is I should be able to drive out now. And then if I fall back behind this these bushes enough, then I should be able to shoot through without getting spotted. Mechanics, how do they work? Well, Maximus 420 peaceful with two L's on the enemy team uh, meets a rather unpeaceful demise. All right, well, here's the thing. OP tank. Pretty bad result so far. And now we've got our work cut out for us to be able to carry this game. And this is where it can be quite exciting to play this vehicle, right? You know, you've thrown away your hit points. You've played badly. I say I played badly. Although I wasn't really to expect that that T25 uh, was going to play so well. But now it's all about what can we do with the last 100 hit points. We've got a Valentine AT and IKV 103 to watch out for. This vehicle, um, it didn't get spotted driving into position. <coughs> but I think that was because I was a little bit fortunate. So, I really don't want to get caught by the Valentine AT. Or the IKV-103. So what I think I'll do is I'll just um, wait for maybe the T-34S to advance. Just try and keep him, just try and help him out. Because this game's darn close. We're only up by one kill, only up by a couple of hundred hit points. Although we have taken out quite a few of the enemy's high tier vehicles, as we can see. Uh, but again, that doesn't mean anything if I'm a one shot. So I'm just going to relax, wait for the game to develop, try and see if I can find out where more of the enemy's tank destroyers are. And um, hopefully I can get some more support fire in for the T-34S. Who's now getting dealt by, or dealt with, by the um, T-6 medium, it looks like, above. There's also two artilleries. Okay, 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 okay. Everything that I said has changed now because we're ahead by four kills and when you're ahead by four kills and a thousand like that thousand four hundred hit points now it's time to get stuck in and see if we can catch some more tanks all three tank destroyers have been spotted so let's go see if we can farm up some arty we don't have many hit points as i said so i gotta still watch out a little bit um hopefully there's no one who's come across on that ridge line the bishop has like 400 hit points as far as i'm aware 
So that's not something that we want to really have to try and do a, a trade with. Okay, he doesn't have 400 hit points anymore. Can you believe the bishop has 460 hit points? That's as much as a tier 10 self-propelled gun. Now I understand why, because they're short range, blah, 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 blah. But it's still crazy to me to think how many hit points that thing has. I wonder if the M41 is aiming at me around here. This feels very precarious to just be driving around nonchalant. It could be a valentine. Hopefully I can sneak up on this bishop and get the bishop in the back. I'm going to fire, fire through these buildings. Hopefully one more shot should get me there. There we go. And there's one. And he's out of there. I wonder where the M41 is. He was in a platoon with the T1 Heavy. Oh, we know where the uh, PZSFL is now. Although I can't quite see them. Looks like they're roughly behind these bushes over here. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can't turn my turret to the side, otherwise the M41 uh, will jump on me and the PZSFL will get me from the side. Oh, a nice little bit of spotting there. All right, might as well risk it now for the biscuit. Gosh. Not the best game for me. You know what? Should I give him a free kill by just ramming him here? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I take zero damage? That should be illegal. So, three kills and um, 1,900 combined. It's definitely not the best of results in this tank. But you know what? That Panzer T25 called No Controlled definitely, definitely, definitely forced me to make some trades that I did not want to make. A little bit overconfident along that flank. But, oh, uh, well, it went pretty good. But yeah, that T25, that was was not bad. It was not bad by him. Yeah, it's a re-roll, a 58% re-roll with only 33 games played. So you, you know this player um, knows what's up. So pretty aggressive trades there by him. I felt like that's what they had to do. But welcome to World of Tanks. There's always a bigger fish. And it looks like the bigger fish in this battle was the T34S on my team. Another rather good player. All right, I don't know how many more filthy games we can play, but we're going to have to keep it going. After all, this is the series of... I'm going to go through for the next, I guess, weeks, maybe the entire rest of the year. I'm going to go through all of the classes, maybe not self-propelled guns. <laughs> don't try and hold me to that. Uh, I go through all of the classes, starting from tier four up, so it's going to be a while. Okay, so this could be really tricky. Uh, I've got the worst possible matchup in this vehicle against the tier 6s as well as the tier 5s. And while I want to try and push the top of the hill, you know, there's some scary, scary tanks and players on the enemy team. Look at this Charizard level 35 Chili Dog XX. That sounds terrifying. How am I going to handle myself in this situation? I have to try my best. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I still want to try and contest the hill, but I'm not going to just YOLO up there uh, unless I feel it's safe. Contesting the hill on Tundra is the best thing that we can do. If we can manage to win the hill, then we get some snipes off, we control the middle of the map, we can get some snipes off down all the way towards the west. This map, it's okay. I, I, don't, I haven't heard anyone say that they hate Tundra, so GG to Wargaming for that. And it's not even a symmetrical map within that regard. A map that is non-symmetrical that the player base doesn't seem to hate. That is a win, as far as I'm aware, for Wargaming. Okay, so two of our light tanks have decided to just rush the enemy team. Hopefully they'll deal with the artillery. I'm pretty sure the uh, the medium tanks are over in this location. And they are. And they're starting their assault on my hit points. Starting their assault on my hit points. The Type T-34 got a good shot off. Oh no, that's a disaster. Gold rounds. Oh, I think I might have really goofed here. I've really goofed. Oh, what a disaster. What a disaster. Absolute unmitigated disaster. Down to 72 hit points. Every single one of their, like, meta-Soviet tanks is there, right? Look at that. We've got the T-34, Type T-34, Type 58, Type 58, and the T-34-85M. Absolute nightmare. That is exactly what I was worried was going to happen, and I just fell for it. Absolutely fell for it, boys and girls. Okay, so what do you do when you fall for a stupid play and you get made to look like an idiot? Well, hopefully you sneak out and you play long range, right? That's the, the secret of World of Tanks, is that it's okay to lose your hit points as long as you can still manage to play with your hit points safer later on. Now, of course, 
In an ideal world, you make the aggressive plays and you don't lose. Ah, oh, wow, that type T34. GG to you, blind firing those bushes. Well, there you go. Overconfidence here in this battle. And it looks like the counter for overpowered tanks are Soviet and Chinese Zerg just all driving into the same position. GG to them. Nice marksmanship. Every single shell of theirs went into my tank. And that's all she wrote for probably one of the most overpowered tanks tier for tier in the game. So that is, without a shadow of a doubt, the worst thing about playing an overpowered tank is that when you have a bad game, oh, it cuts a little too deep. GG, well played to the enemy team. It looks like the Soviet tanks win. All right, let's roll the dice again in the Panzer 5-4 and see how Lady Luck will treat us. So we've seen so far this vehicle seems to do very well against the fives and the fours, not so well against the fives and the sixes. So I guess if you're wanting to do things like marks of excellence in this vehicle, which I don't have any, I can imagine the marks are really hard to get in this vehicle and I don't play it enough. Uh, as you can see with having level 38 in one of the most overpowered tanks that I've got on my account, why don't I play this thing more? Uh, the, because it's so good, the mark requirements are just outrageously high. So, but what I'm trying to say is that if you want to try and push marks in this tank, being able to uh, turn it up uh, or turn, like, focus when you're in those tier 6 and tier 5 matchups, or predominantly the tier 6s are what you're going to have to worry about. And also not just getting lazy inside matchups like this, right? Uh, as you saw last week with my T28 video with the, is it the F30 gun? The, the 85mm on that tank. I got complacent in the game on Ensk, which I think was my third game, which I kind of just did now as well. Although I don't think in that last game that there was really too much more that I could try and do. I guess just sit back and hope that the enemy team's, enemy team played really badly. I don't know. It's tricky. You want to get forwards. You've got to get involved. I'm not sure what do you all feel about World of Tanks in 2024, but I feel like if I'm not influencing the battle in the first minute, then my team will quite often just crumble. And so I'm always trying to get stuck in, and stuck in early to try and influence it. I feel like the opportunities to win later less. Oh my word, there's a 14 TP. He's trying to get ready for the Polish uh, tank destroyers. Well, should we go and help him get ready for the Polish tank destroyers? Oh no, what got me? Blooming Derp Tank fired heat from above. Uh, well, unfortunately, that 14 TP is going to have to spend a little bit longer having to get ready. Oh, man. Nice shot by the T4 of the M4A1. It's definitely a tank that we don't want to get caught by. And they've got a T14 Heavy here. This could be a disaster. He could come right after me and there's nothing that I can do about it. Is he going to just come right after me? Can I fire up into his tracks? Maybe if he crests the ridge, he'll fire up into his tracks off a little bit. Looks like they're engaging over there. Oh, I gotta watch out. I've lost a few too many hit points this M4A1. Wow, how do I bounce off the side of his turret? It's impressive. Well, they've got a lot of scary tanks over here. I'm gonna have to watch out. Like, I'm a scary tank for that T14. That's a that's a really brutal turret to have to deal with here. Um, kind of hoping that I can maybe get over a little bit towards the south where the M8A1 is. Oh, the M8A1's doing a great job. Keep it up, my dude. Keep it up, my dude. The M4A1 missed another heat round into the dirt. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Let's see if I can just bait this guy. I want to try and just get him into the open and hopefully my uh, light tanks continue. Well, not the light tanks, sorry, the tank destroyer can keep nailing him in the side here. I can't get this T14 from down below. One of the most annoying things about this tank is it actually has way more gun depression over the side than over the front. So you have to, if you're wondering why I'm turning it sideways here, it's not that I'm crazy. Yeah, I'm crazy anyway, but um, it's because uh, I have more gun depression over the side, so I've got to watch out for that. This game's so close. I'm gonna have to. Oh no, that guy just derped out the. Uh... Oh, it was the AMRT. It wasn't the little. It wasn't the little TD. I feel like I gotta try and get shooting here, otherwise I'm gonna risk it. But I have got a weak point on top of my tank. There's one onto the Hetzer. Two onto the Hetzer. I'm keeping an eye on that T14. I'm going cross-eyed right now. Oh no, I let the M8A1 shoot me again, and I'm so lucky he low rolled. Oh, a disaster again. Oh, boys and girls, second disaster. And I got shot from the center from the light tank. Oh no, how did the M4A1 catch me so well? Well, I guess we found out what the counters for this vehicle are. 
higher tier Soviet and Chinese tanks, and then good old fashioned derp guns with gold spamming. I wonder where they he managed to pen me. Luckily, I'm using battle hit so I can take a look. He probably just got me in the side, maybe got me in the turret, and when I went after the T-14, he might have rammed me. I think maybe my eyes were a little bit too big going after that T-14. Oh man, what are you gonna do? Nice shot there, yeah, right in the side of the turret. Oh no, that was the AMX. Yeah, just right in the weak point on top. And then that one was just aiming down on my armor, so. Yeah, good good play by the M4A1. He's got a nice big pineapple in the center of his screen, so to be able to hit that's impressive. And again, the hit points on this tank rather low, so if you do get hit by two, three, 105 millimeter penetrating heat shells, it doesn't matter how OP your tank is. Well, we started so well and we've fallen so far. Wow, the KV-1 on the enemy team absolutely tore up the town. And that M4A1 definitely didn't play like a, a zombie with some great heat spam and hitting seven out of eight of those heat shells. That's a great game. And unfortunately, even though we did 50% more damage than anyone else on our team, got double their XP, it doesn't matter if you're dealt the L at the end of the battle. All right, well, I guess this is going to be fifth time lucky. Games have been so fast today that I think I've got time for one more round in the Panzer 5-4. So all in all, this vehicle, Outrageously overpowered for all of the reasons that I've brought up today. Just great gun handling, enough view range so you can get away with, with coated optics on this tank. The only thing that really holds it back is, again, uh, that its durability is fantastic frontally until they start shooting your turret or your weak point. And so it's the kind of tank that does very well against beginners, but doesn't do so well against experienced players. And so if you do think there's a lot of casuals playing, and now that you can make battle pass points in this tank, there are a lot more casual players playing towards the low tier. If you do have one of these, it would almost be a shame to not get your battle pass points in it, right? Although I have to admit, why am I encouraging seal clubbing? If Wargaming ever do sell one of these things again, firstly, it's the apocalypse for the matchmaker. But this, this should definitely be on your hot list of vehicles to try and collect inside World of Tanks. As long as Wargaming don't realize this and try to charge you OP prices <laughs> to go with your OP tank. All right, so once again, nice matchup here. Tier fours, tier fives. Doesn't look like there's any derp tanks on the enemy team, so that's a thumbs up. Uh, but we've got to deal with a Panzer 54 on the enemy team that, again, could be scary. Anyway, let's get forwards. I'm going to play a little bit safer here than ramming a T14 to death. I'm going to go get myself into... Whoa, what's that Excelsior's doing? Are well, they both just driving right across out in the open? Um, Excelsior's have got really good armor, though, so... Not on the side, if he drives like that. Is this really how people play World of Tanks at low tier? That's impressive. You know what? I have to, I have to try and shoot these guys. I have to. Are they Are they in a platoon? Is the, Are these bots? Have I just found two bots? Are the bots just programmed to go and sit out in the middle of the map? Or are they rigging? Are they rigging? Is there somebody on my team that they're trying to feed win ratio to? That is so bizarre. That is so absolutely bizarre. Did I just randomly find two people who are rigging on a live YouTube video? We'll have to, we'll have to take a look at those accounts after this game. Hopefully I'll remember. Oh, are you actually kidding me? Did he really just set me on fire with an HE shell? Don't worry, girls. You're okay. Just slightly flambéed. I cannot honestly believe it. I managed to get set on fire there just through the side of my tank. All right, I've got to make sure that my front is right towards him and then hopefully he doesn't set me on fire again. Yeah, 52. That's more like it. He's lost his entire vehicle. All right, they're down. Panzer fire, uh, Panzer four below me. Am I going to go after this guy, or have I got to watch out right now? All right, sod it, we're going in. This probably isn't the most sensible way to play World of Tanks, but uh, most fun way, I guess. Oof. Am I going to get him before he gets me? Oh, I'm low roll! Am I going to die? Oh, I bounce good. Oh, taking my life into my hands there. How much did I ram him for? 300? And 68. Oh, it was definitely a good idea to ram. I only took 71 in return. That's uh, that's trades. That's trades. That's trades. Talk about trades. This Type 34 is trying to make some trades of his own. Oh, disgusting. So we had a couple of bad rounds, but we're back to it now. We're back to the... Uh... Whoa, how could you 
Must have got me in the top of my weak point or just got me in the turret. And the Type T T34 actually died. What did he die to? A piece of SFL? I'll have to watch out for that. All right, well, this Matilda clearly isn't uh, a silly sausage, and he's got... No! <laughs> Oh no, I didn't think about the arty. You don't want the eye in the sky to come your way, right? It was definitely an I see you kind of moment there. Not very nice, buddy. I probably should have just tried to finish off the Matilda while I had the chance there, but I didn't. All right, so where did the PZSFL go? Um, there's the artillery. Good, 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 good. Hopefully the looks finishes him off. I'm trying to get this Matilda without getting caught by the Marder. Um, I'm wondering if the Matilda will think that I'm trying to flank. Checkmate, son. Checkmate, son! Alright, PZSFL hopefully is going to get dealt with. I should be able to bounce a Marder. I should be able to bounce a Marder. Oh, where's that shell come from? Is he behind a soft building? He is. HE shells into the turret. Oh. That's not good, is it? HE shell failed to pen on that gun shield. Oh, no, those didn't, though. <laughs> oh, shouldn't really laugh. I am basically padding in OP tanks. All right, we know where there's an M10 RBFM. At the back of the map, with gold. I sound like I'm playing Kaludo, right? Uh, he's, he's there. Okay. He's, he's there. i got to type to my friends. Um, all right. So that was 2,200 combined and four kills. I think you can see why this tank is so strong. You've got all of the weight to be able to ram uh, as long as you don't lose your hit points. In this battle, I got set on fire with random HE to the back of my tank, and I still managed to do decent tier 7 combines. This is kind of like three mark most tier 7 tanks combines. Um, if not some of the worst tier 8s in the game. This is a tier 5 vehicle. Outrageously OP. If you have one of these and you didn't play it for some reason, give it a go. If you see one of these in the future, it's definitely something that you should be trying to get your hands on. Absolutely filthy overpowered vehicle. And it is a tool. If you have one of those days where you log into World of Tanks and you just want to get your daily missions done as quickly as possible and then not play anymore because you're under some time pressure, then this vehicle is a fabulous way to do it. And now that you have the opportunity to earn Battle Pass points even while you play this vehicle, yeah, this thing should be one of your, your go-tos for trying to just be overpowered and get your missions done. Anyway, ladies and gents, boys and girls, that was the Panzer 5-4 in all of its glory. I think we, like, ram-killed pretty much three entire tanks, more or less, today in the games that we played. Some decent kills, apart from those two mid, uh, the, the bad results in the middle due to those heat round pens and also that tier 6 matchup against the Soviet tanks. Anyway, really hope you enjoyed this video and you like me playing live. If you do, then make sure you give the video a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. And let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite tier 5 medium in the game and why. And as always, thank you so much for watching. You've been epic and hopefully I'll see you soon. Oh, an Easter egg. If anyone wants to know how ridiculous that fire was with that high explosive round at the beginning. Yeah, apparently that's that's a fire. I guess if there's my engine, it kind of makes a little bit of sense. Even though it doesn't pen, I guess it splashes off.